Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and I've got a little puzzle again that I stole from somewhere off the internet, looks like mashup math, um, that uh, I just wanted to use to work on our algebraic reasoning skills. So basically the idea of al uh, what I'm talking about when I say algebraic reasoning is the ability to um, replace a missing symbol, or uh, let me say that again, replace a uh, symbol, a mystery symbol with a number. Uh, that's really all algebra is, you know. So let's take a look. It says find the value of each icon in the multiplication table below. So we've been given a big clue here. Uh, they told us that this is a multiplication table. Now remember how your multiplication tables worked back in the day in elementary school. You'd have a number over here like two and a number over here like three and then you'd find the answer to the multiplication fact two times three in the table, six. Okay, so that's exactly what we have going on here. We have some numbers on the outsides and some numbers on the insides. And I have to figure out what these symbols, these mysteries stand for. What does the pizza stand for? What number does the tomato stand for? So on and so forth. So really good thing to do is to start with something where you know two of the three numbers in the fact. If you can start there, you're going to be in luck. And here's one that I see. Now, guys, I just want to reiterate to you guys, I've said this before when we've done, done these kind of things, there's not one right way to go here. If you go a different way than I do, but you use logic, you'll get the same answers. But this is what I'm noticing. The 16. I see that one number, two, times a cheese pizza equals 16. 2 times something equals 16. Well, if I know my multiplication facts, that's super nice. I know what this number is. But what if I don't know my multiplication facts? Well, if you don't know, you can just do the opposite. You can always do the opposite to figure something out. In math, if you don't know 2 times what, you can do the opposite of timesing. You can divide. You can start with what would have been your answer, 16. Divide by the piece you do know, 2, and get back to that multiplication fact. So 16 divided by 2, of course, is 8, or another way to think of it, 2 times 8 is 16. And so I can replace this cheese pizza with an 8. Now, guys, if I replace a cheese pizza with an 8 there, guess what? I can replace all the pizzas with an 8. I'll put an 8 there. I'll put an 8 there. I'm going to put an 8 here in my answer box. Okay, let's move on. Again, again, my life is easiest if I look for a, a place where I know two of the three numbers. And I see uh, a couple more. Here's the first one I see, this one. So what am I saying here with this 8? I'm saying some number, let's call it leaf, times 8 equals 8 right? The two numbers along the outside multiply to make the inside number. So some number leaf times 8 equals 8. Of course, only one number behaves like that in multiplication, doing nothing. That's the number 1. And so this leaf here represents the number 1. Okay, I see another one like that. The oven here, I can see 8 up here with the pizza times something, I don't know, equals 40. So 8 times something equals 40. Well, 8 times what number equals 40? It's 8 times 5. The oven must be a 5. Okay, let's keep moving on here. So let's look for another number here where I know uh, a couple of facts. So uh, how about this 4? I can see one of the numbers this 4 is made out of a 1, but not the other one. So the question I'm asking myself is 1 times what equals 4? Well, obviously it's 1 times 4. So that oil there must be worth 4. Let's replace the oil down here with a 4. And we figured out the oil. Do we have anything else like that? We do. Oh, goodness. Okay. All these ones in the middle, we are lucky now. The tomato is made by multiplying the two outside numbers, 3 times 1. So the tomato must be 3 times 1, or 3. The flag is made by multiplying 2 times 3, those two outside numbers. So the flag must be 6. And the... 
Chef is made by multiplying two outside numbers. The three times that five oven, so the chef must be 15. Great, we've figured out our cheese pizza times tables. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, uh, feel free to drop your questions in the comments. I'll do my very best to answer them.